want to focus on doing the job that they're supposed to do as well. But I want to focus on a different body, not the FDA. I want to talk about Congress doing the job that it is supposed to do. Hemp-derived products may provide numerous health benefits, such as easing anxiety, insomnia, chronic pain, and addiction. That's why today we have members on both sides of the aisle who are interested in determining how we should regulate these pro products. Right now, as the chairwoman said, you can buy CBD and other hemp-derived products in grocery stores, or you can order them online to be shipped anywhere. While this framework provides a great deal of accessibility, it also creates challenges. Because hemp-derived products are not federally regulated, they may include not just CBD, but THC, an intoxicant. These products can be sold in packaging that makes them look like traditional snack foods. That can be confusing to adults and children alike who may not want or intend to consume products with intoxicating levels of THC. This is a real problem. In fact, just a few weeks ago, the FDA and the Federal Trade Commission issued warning letters to six companies for illegally selling products containing THC. We should all be able to agree that the federal government needs to regulate hemp-derived products in a way that protects our constituents while also making safe products available to them. In fact, the FDA convened an internal working group to explore how the agency might go about regulating hemp-derived products. After its review, the FDA working group came back and they said, we need a new regulatory pathway for hemp-derived products. They even added that they would like to work with Congress. Nobody wants to work with us. <laughs> they would like to work with Congress to get that pathway set up through legislation. Today, Republicans have convened this hearing because they believe, apparently, that the FDA doesn't need any more authority from Congress to properly regulate hemp-derived products. The problem is that some of the same lawmakers who want to do oversight of the FDA for being cautious about its existing powers would turn around and blast the agency if, it ever, if they ever felt like it went too far beyond its legal authority. Look, we can't have it both ways here. The FDA knows Congress will appropriately hold it accountable if the agency exceeds its authority. That's our job. So the FDA is not gonna take the risk of going too far. Why ask them to take that risk when we could just work together across the aisle on some common sense legislation? Given the bipartisan interests, members of Congress should have no problem rolling up our sleeves, hell, I don't even have any sleeves, and getting to work to establish the regulatory pathway that the FDA says it needs. Let's not jump to blaming the FDA until Congress has done everything it can to set it up for success. At this point, we should certainly evaluate how the FDA does. In the meantime, the better institution to exhort to do its job is us, Congress. We're the better oversight subject at this point. Thank you, and I yield back. Thank you, Ms. Porter. The chair now recognizes Chairman Comer for an 